by Turbo Ford Ranger here. Got some stats for you if you want to have a look, see what it does with normal driving. You can see the revs there, got the boost, uh, automatic transmission fluid temp, EGR percentage open, water temperature, you can see what gear it's in on the main screen. Yeah, guys. It's just light throttle. Not revving excessively. No different to any car, the car really. Maximum boost pressure is 22.4. Do find sometimes it skips gears. Usually, uh, I think it skips fifth gear. Depending on the load. It does feel quite torquey quite responsive with the accelerator pedal. Turbo does boost very quickly as well. So it does feel like a bigger motor than the two liter. Nice and quiet as well in the car. It's quite nice to drive though, I will admit. I'm pretty happy with a 2 litre. I'm glad I went this option. I don't find it works any harder than any other diesel engine that I've had in terms of revs and boost pressure. 22 is pretty standard these days. Nothing really excessive anyway. up area so I can't really go too fast I will give it a bit when I can though just you can see what the revs do with a bit more throttle a bit more load I've heard a lot of people say that they rev too much or they've running stupid amounts of boost I've heard 30 psi get thrown around a bit but it's definitely not the case that was probably about half throttle Give it a little bit off the line. It's about half throttle now. The gearbox is actually quite nice. Shifts well. It's always in the sweet spot. It's never labouring, 
If you put your foot down a little bit, it just drops back a gear and just goes effortlessly. This car's got 33 inch tyres as well, so a bit bigger than the standard ones. That's how it goes anyway.